Happy Halloween, everyone on YouTube. It's 18 Demon Slayer again. Here with my first movie review of the Rocky Horror Picture Show. Now, I I absolutely love this movie. It's like in my top 10 favorite movies. If I had to place it in that list, I would say at least five. It's one of my favorite movies of all time. And believe it or not, I saw it when I was a very little kid. And the movie's rated R, by the way, people. For those of you who have seen it and knows what it's about, yeah, uh, I had satellite TV when I was a kid, and it was on all the friggin' time. Just just like Beetlejuice, and uh, Beetlejuice is also one of my favorite movies. But I'm not talking about Beetlejuice, I'm talking about Rocky Horror, goddammit! And, uh, yeah, it's one of my favorite movies. Uh, based on a play called The Rocky Horror Show, not The Rocky Horror Picture Show. Uh, created by Richard O'Brien, who played the, uh, the butler character, Riff Raff, in the play, and uh, in the movie as well. And uh, also stars uh, Susan Sarandon, Nell Campbell, uh, Meatloaf, and uh, the debut of Tim Curry as uh, Professor Frankenfurter. The plot involves uh, and uh, the plot involves Brad May. Oh, uh, yeah, it was released in the mid '70s, I think, 1975. And uh, the plot involves uh, Brad Majors and uh, Janet Weiss, who are newly engaged and are going to break the news to uh, their science professor, uh, Dr. Everett Scott, where, uh, in his class where they met. And uh, they get a flat tire along the way, and they come across a castle uh, uh, with all these freaky people in there from, like, Transylvania. Uh, and it's weird. They meet Riff Raff, his, uh, his uh, sister Magenta, who's the maid. Uh, Columbia, again, uh, she's played by, uh, yeah, Nell Campbell, who's like a little uh, groupie, uh, who's a groupie, yeah, uh, I don't think we use groupie as anymore, we call them fangirls now, but yeah, and then they meet Dr. Frankenfurter, played by Tim Curry, and he basically makes a man, yeah, that's basically what Frankenfurter does, he creates man, he's kind of like uh, Dr. Frankenstein, <laughs> so yeah, uh, but as the movie goes on, it gets weird, and it also stars Meatloaf as uh, Eddie, Eddie's cool. I like Eddie. He's like my f he's my favorite character in the movie, even though he isn't in it very long. But yeah, at, towards the end of the movie, there's this big, 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 big um, musical number, and uh, also towards the end of the film, you discover something. You discover uh, what the Transylvanians really are. I won't spoil what what they really are. Uh, if you want to find out for yourself, watch the movie. The movie's very good. I give it. Yeah, I give a Rocky Horror Picture Show, because it's one of my favorite movies, a 7.5 out of 10. Well then, <clears throat> on to the toy review. Now, I shall be reviewing the Universal Studios, the Universal Studios Monsters Retro Cloth Series, and beginning with Series 1 is the Frankenstein Monster. Now, this guy is my second favorite figure in this entire collection. I like him. He's really cool. Articulation... Ed spins all the way around, 360, arms go out like this, uh, yeah, they go out like this, uh, if you try to put it this way, kind of, it doesn't hinder much in the clothing, he has, does have wrist, uh, articulation, does have knee joints, really good, uh, kind, can kind of spin this way, but, uh, hindered by the clothes, and yeah, all, he's really good, again, my second favorite, uh, figure in this collection, and, uh, his card is right here, it has Frankenstein, and it says Frankenstein, it has pictures of all the monsters in the series, Frankenstein, the Wolfman, the Mummy, and, uh, Count Dracula. <clears throat> now then, move on to the second monster in the series, which is <clears throat> the Wolfman figure. He's, he's good, I like him. Again, articulation, yeah, his head spins around, does have, yeah, arms out and out. Does have wrist articulation. His ankle articulation too, which is really nice. And uh, if you see right there, there are tears in here because he transformed into his werewolf form. Yeah, he's really cool. Like him a lot. <clears throat> and his card is this. Basically the same thing, just with the wolf man. And that's basically it for series one. And uh, series one comes. The series one figures come with these mini mate things. Which uh, I'm going to unfold right now. And you can uh, see it. <sighs> Ta-da! 
Yeah, it's really cool. It has all the Minimates merchandise on it. It has other Universal Monster stuff on it. Which is really nice. <clears throat> now we move on to Series 2. which is And Series 2 has Mummy. Now, this is my least favorite figure in this collection. Articulation, also the same as the other two. But... He's a little hindered by his bandages. I mean, you can do this and this, but if you try to do this, it kind of—it's kind of hard to see. But it kind of stretches out right here, and I don't like that. And it snaps right back. Uh, does have knee joints? They're kind of hard. He's really uh, out of the four figures in the collection. He's pro—he's the hardest to pose because he'll fall over a lot. I mean, when I first got him, he fell over constantly. So I have to find like to put him up against the wall or something. But yeah, uh, that's all I have to basically say about this guy. There's not much. He does have a. Let's see it. He does have his uh, ring, he does have a ring on his finger, which is nice. But yeah, and uh, his card is right here. Again, it's not the same thing as the Dracula and the uh, no, not the Dracula. He's next as the yeah. Frankenstein Monster and the Wolfman cards. As you can see, the pictures of all four of the figures are now in color. Which, I'm not particularly... I don't particularly like. I like them better in black and white. Especially if you can kind of see it. The Dracula picture. Zoom in on it. Okay, yeah. If you can kind of see it, he looks really weird. In this color picture. But yeah, and on to the final figure. And my favorite of this collection. <clears throat> is Count Dracula figure. This guy is cool. Articulation, same as before, same as the other three. Uh, he's hit, uh, kind of hindered a little bit by this. But yeah, you can move his arms out. And if you can't, I, I have done it. You can put his arm like this and like drape the cape over him like this to give him like this kind of feel. It's really cool to do that. <clears throat> and you can't take his cape off, which is nice. And make him look like this. Hello, I am Dracula. <laughs> he doesn't say blood in the movie. That is such a Dracula stereotype. But yeah, this guy's cool. Really like him a lot. And uh, his card, again, like the figure, is my favorite because Dracula's pale and you can see him. You can see him a lot better. And again, same thing. I like the lettering of his name on this. And yeah, it's the same thing as the mummy card, just with Dracula. And... That's about gonna do it. I don't have much more to talk about. So, I guess this is it, YouTubers. I'm out. And I'll see you guys next time as I do another review of... Huh, as I do my first video game review of Street Fighter 2. See you guys then.